everyone, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to take these chords, which is a two, five, one, four, six, and turn it into some amazing music. So here's the chords. D minor. G. And that's with the bass would be a G and a D. Your right hand will be C. B, D, and then C, and then right hand, left hand is C and G, left hand is C, E, G. And then the next chord is F, is a F and C in the left hand, and then on your right hand you want to play a C, F, A, and C. Then the last chord is an A. Now you go, how in the world is that going to work out? So you go. Under normal circumstances, that just wouldn't sound good in a song, okay? That's two minor, five, one, four, six. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to play them chords and make it extremely musical. In fact, it's probably one of the most played rhythms in music today by far. Uh, especially the two five two five one, and then the four and the six. You add that to, it and it just adds a dynamic to it that uh, a lot of people don't even realize. Without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do this. Follow along. It's really simple. We're going to be playing in the key of C. So here we go. We're going to start off in the key of D minor. So it's going to be F A. C, E, okay? Now you might be wondering, that's not a typical D minor. The D minor is actually this. But what we're doing is we're moving the D, we're moving it here, but we're moving it down a whole step to the C and making it actually an F chord, okay? Which is kind of wild. It's amazing how music is interchangeable and you can do a lot of cool things playing the same chord. So with that being said, F, A, C, and then we're going to add an E on top. Okay? That's your first chord in your right hand in this progression. And now we're going to play a D on the bass note. So it'll be... Okay, that is a D minor nine. Okay, so instead of this, we're going to do this. Here's your D minor, straight D minor. And here's your D minor nine. Then the next chord, a really simple change. We're going to move the C note right here. It's your third note. We're going to move it down a half step to B. So we're going to go from C to B. And we're going to take our left hand that's playing the D. And we're going to move it up to a G. How about that? So you go... Very, 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 very simple. The next chord is the one of the scale that we're in. And we're going to play that a little bit different instead of just regular C like this. Remember we played here the last time. We're going to move down and we're going to play an E, G, B, D, and a C on the bass. 
okay? Here's the first three chords, okay? Very simple. That's your D minor 9, G9, and then your C, okay? The next chord is an F major 9. So all we're doing for this is we're going from this and we're going to move the top two notes down a whole step. Okay, and we're going to play this. And if you look at that on the screen there, it says a C major 6 with an E bass. But that's because I've got the bass here. The bass is on the bottom. So, it's, but it's like this. So, move the top two notes down. Okay. Then the next chord is the six, which has sounded weird. So, if you play this progression we started out with. That don't even sound right, does it? Sounds out of place. So this is how this is going to work. We're going to start out on the D minor. That's the G. Then the C. Then the F. Now to the A. A flat 13 out of 5. This is your 5. And then we're back to D minor. And then move again to the G and move this note down a half step. And then C. recognize this the way I'm playing it it's that moonlight jazz that you hear like in a bar if you went to a, a drinking wine and listen to a great classical piano player or jazz pianist playing these chords this is the simplified version of what they do I mean there's some great musicians out there so but this is it this is kind of what you'll hear and I'm gonna give you a rhythm here to kind of show you how this all fits together the Charleston Try it one more time. D, F, A, C, E, G, and then all we're doing on this right hand chord is removing the third note, moving it down a half step. So we go. going down to the C, and that's C on the bass, and then E, G, B, and D, 
then we're going to move the top two notes down a whole step. So you go. And then we come up and we play the A, 13, so it'll be. So that's an A, E, G, B flat, C sharp, F. And then what I like to do sometimes is do this. It kind of resolves it back down to that D minor. from this that's a two five one four six to this Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Subscribe to the page and check out these videos, okay? Because there's a lot of great scales on here that you can play, play musically, and play for your friends, church, whatever your situation might be. And uh, subscribe to our channel if you would, please. Click the like button. It really helps us out and it helps us grow our channel because we have a lot of content that's going to be coming your way. Uh, everything from gospel to country, uh, rhythmic stuff. I think you'll have a great time with a lot of the stuff that we're bringing on board. It really helps us out whenever you subscribe and like. Don't forget to watch these videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you. Bye.